them all, I can see it's a little tiny white thing. That's it. That's that's it. That's it. That's it. Oh god. No, it is. It's totally. It's totally a little worm. Oh my god. It's totally a little worm. There's a worm living in my body. Let me set the scene a little bit. I've been in Bangkok with Lexi for about a week now. But for about a month, I've had this little bump on my wrist, like a pimple almost, that just wouldn't go away. And after about five weeks, I thought it'd be probably good to see a doctor. Went to a doctor today. He said it was infected, which I didn't disagree with him because it, did, it could be an infection. It just seemed really weird. It never really looked like an infection. He put a topical antibiotic on the hole, put a piece of foam on and a piece of tape. Gave me an oral antibiotic, sent me home and said come back in two days. We were here chilling, just doing work and I had a shower, the bandage got wet and it started really itchy underneath the bandage. So I thought, hey, we should take it off and I'll redo the bandage. Tell me your side of the story. I pulled the bandage off and he was holding it up like right in front of my face and we were both like looking at it and this thing like white thing like popped out and like wiggled around and then went back in and we like locked eyes right after and it did it again and came back in. <laughs> I don't even know what you would call that. It was disgusting. I'm just happy it's you and not me. <laughs> I have definitely not had anything like this happen to me before, but I did study insects in school. And one thing I heard about that happens in tropical countries is you can get something called a bot fly. And that's really common for animals to get them, but it is sometimes possible for humans to get them. A fly lands, lays an egg on your skin, the egg hatches, the maggot burrows into your skin, and there it lives for some number of months before turning into a fly and leaving your body again. That's what a bot fly bite looks like. That's Show your wrist. So there's my potential bot fly larva. You see it's swollen, a little red, a little bit <laughs> dripping, disgusting. We have all our camera gear on the bed behind us. This is something I travel with all the time. It's a macro lens. Let's take a look, but I really don't think I'm gonna like what we see. It says closer inspections of these lesions may reveal two dark spirals or breathing holes. <laughs> You can get them to come out further by covering up these breathing holes with anything occlusive. Ah, uh, so that's like exactly Like peanut butter or <laughs> petroleum jelly. <laughs> it says, first smother, then pull. Okay, I got you. Right? Are you a surgeon? Yes. No, I don't I got it. I got it. It's Sometimes you have to make a very, very careful incision. Do not entice the larvae. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can totally do that. Oh my god. You're a host. Mike Corey, TV and parasitic <laughs> host. <laughs> We can. We have two options. We can go to the doctor. I have my, my second appointment tomorrow. Hey, the doctor is in. You're the doctor? Yes. We can definitely, there's a 7-Eleven down the street. We can get <sighs> Vaseline and tweezers. What are we gonna name them? Little M. Little M. Little M. <laughs> you should keep it. Let's go to 7 Eleven. <laughs> you can really see like the bonding happening. It's not funny. But literally, though, you can. You can see it. <laughs> this is the Yao Warat district of Bangkok. Chinatown. It's absolutely crazy here. There's markets, there's fish and tanks, there's traffic smog and a lot of actually cool things to eat. There's a 7-Eleven right around the corner and I think that'll be the first stop to try to find Vaseline and tweezers. And a razor blade. To remove little M. So what's your experience with parasites been in your life? Well, I grew up with a dad in construction. He got a lot of really bad splinters and I've taken so many splinters out of his arm. Like, how different could it be? It's just like a splinter, but this splinter is gonna be like, wiggling. Vaseline tweezers. This is kind of like what we're looking for. Best quality. 
Tweezers, tweezers, tweezers. It's perfect. A little girly, but we'll take it. You find Vaseline? Are those snacks? Wasabi beans, and beer, and Oreos? So, Vaseline, no. Is that not snacks? It's the occasion. Awesome. Tweezers and snacks. That's what we got. Snacks. Okay, let's find a pharmacy. Oh, he just did it again. Look, can you see it? Can you see it coming out? You can't see it on this lens. You don't want to see it. It's disgusting. <laughs> I think Tiger Balm could work. For relief of muscular aches and pains, swelling, and inflammation due to insect bites. This is kind of like an insect bite. Let's do it. Yeah, good. Does it kill skin maggots? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One, think of Tiger Balm. Not quite Vaseline, but I think it's even worse. Time. The surgery table has been set. Doctor, please tell us a bit about our instruments today. Can yeah. doctors be drunk? It helps. <laughs> so, we have a fresh pair of tweezers, an X-Acto knife, a lighter for sanitary reasons. Originally the plan was to use the Tiger Bomb. We had a little discussion. Tiger Bomb, while it looks very much like Vaseline, petroleum jelly, and maybe actually there is petroleum jelly in there, it it smells very strongly of menthol, which I would think would be cool because maybe it would scare a little M out of my skin. But then I was thinking maybe it would scare him in deeper. So we're gonna put this off to the side. We did in find- In which case? <laughs> we already have the tool. We have the tools necessary to combat such a burrowing creature. Please God, let us not resort to Lexi using an X-Acto knife on my wrist. So plan B for Vaseline is gonna be this antibiotic ointment, which is basically Vaseline already. And we have this sachet of Blistex. So without further ado, we're going to apply the first layer of jelly onto the wrist and we will report back. He looks quite comfortable, doesn't he? <laughs> okay, ready? Ready. Is okay, he so, yeah, he is. Is he, is yeah. he coming out that oh, fast? Oh, yeah, he is. Where? Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, he hates that. Yeah, he does. Oh, oh, my God. Let's make it thicker. Okay. I honestly thought it was going to take... Yeah, I thought it was going to take a while. Take, like, half an hour. But, no, it was immediately. I wonder if that's his blood. My, it's, it's my blood. That hurts when you do that. <laughs> if he doesn't come out, then I think you have to cut it open and get it out. I think we're seeing a doctor. I think you just go for it. Did you get it? No. Did you pull? You pulled on him though, right? I felt I felt my skin pull. Was that my skin, or what? Did you get him and he slipped out? Scared again. It keeps just, it's like it created this tunnel inside of his skin. And I can, I can, I'm watching it just go in and out. So he's coming in out of my out. skin. Yeah, it's coming, just poking, just barely poking his head out. It's like mesmerizing to watch. Mesmerizing Whoa. is the word you choose? <laughs> ah, mesmerizing. Ah! <laughs> it's, one of them. it's like a little hobbit home in oh, Mike's wrist. So cute. Mm -hmm. right, get, get, get out of me right now, please. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, so nasty. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, there it is, look. Oh. Oh, are you getting that?
That's alive inside of me. Let's say he's dead, or he suffocates, or I don't know. Then we, I think we have to go to the hospital because we have to get like an antibiotic or something. Because I can't have a dead maggot in my arm; it'll get infected. Right? Yeah. Woo! Okay. Day two. We slept last night. We could not get the little worm out of my skin. So today I had my checkup doctor's appointment after my first doctor's appointment. Anyway. We're heading to the hospital here in Bangkok. It's actually a beautiful hospital. And he's gonna ask, hey Mike, why isn't the bandage on and why haven't you been taking your antibiotics? And I'm gonna say, because there's a worm in my skin, doc. Please take it out. That's the plan. <laughs> Traffic is crazy in this city. You'll see in a second. And it takes about 20 minutes to get there. Ready? Ready. Ready. to the BNH hospital. Down, 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 down. Yeah. I I have an appointment today for 11:30. May I have your name? Michael Corey. Oh, okay. Take a seat one moment. Take a seat. Okay. Mike. Are you having any second thoughts? I'm excited to add this thing out. We're actually, we're discussing right now here in the hospital whether or not the doctor is excited. Because they don't see this stuff. This is, this is South America, Central America. So I would expect he is quite excited to remove this little bug to my arm. I would hope so. It's like an interesting project for him. Is there a part of you that's gonna miss him? <laughs> no. There's a little worm. A little worm? A little worm. Inside. It was so funny. You, 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 really? Yeah, you put on you put on the bandage. <laughs> I would like to see your video. <laughs> I was a vassal. Is it still still there? Yeah, it's still there. Oh, really? Yeah. Being an alpha, not didn't move to any place. I hope not. I hope not. No. No. You know. And now, now he will be scared. He will be scared for 20 minutes now. He will come back. 20 minutes? Yeah. He's smart. <laughs> you, you, you know him? He's yeah. smart. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe my decision. If you don't know what I said, you make a little cut. Get it out. Okay. 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 Like this, yeah, both fine. How to safely move subcutaneous. Made by a veteran larva extractor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, have you squeezed it? Huh? See, is that it? Mm -hmm. You have the light? Yeah. You're an expert. <laughs> 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 Oh, it's painful. Oh no, 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 no! But you can see it. Oh, it's coming. Ah. Oh. It's hurting. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's okay. <gasps> oh my God! It's so big. Not dead. Oh. Mm -hmm. Take that. Mm. Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was like little, little, little. But that was. It was it's big when you're pulling out. It was big. Okay, yeah, maybe the doctor did it better, could do it better than I could. The next eight weeks could be <laughs> interesting. <laughs> A new <Yeah>. but fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll come back to you now. You're, you're the expert. That was a beautifully done extraction. I thought so. Mm. I thought so too. Wow. Well, cool, Doc. Thank that you very was much. Exciting. I think I could have done it. Oh, you could have done it. I just wonder if I could have done it. Exacto knife, a can of beer, and this apparently certified surgeon who wanted to cut me open in a hotel room <laughs> with a lighter to sanitize our equipment. It would have been fine. No, thank. It wouldn't have been fine. I would have cried like a little baby. Okay, 150 US dollars later, we are leaving the hospital, 
And unfortunately, there's only two of us. We left one member behind. I kind of miss him already. I kind of don't. Not even a little bit. Actually, He's it was- so much bigger than I thought he was gonna be. It was kind of cool to grow something in your body for a while. I kind of get what being pregnant's like. I get, I get the hype now. <laughs> All right. Let's find a tuk-tuk and get some food. It's been 24 hours since the extraction. We are now eating some delicious soup in Chinatown in Bangkok. And the two of us finally have some alone time. I was quite excited to have the worm taken out of my skin. But honestly though, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. The first day though that we saw that little thing wiggle in my arm, we did not sleep. We both had a terrible night's sleep knowing that there was something else in the bed with us. It wasn't that bad. I wouldn't recommend it. We were talking about it being scary, and I said I, I wasn't really he said scared. It wasn't scary, and I said that that's definitely something that's scary for normal people. I guess so, but like he's getting too used to his job. I made the channel Fearless and Far because I I discovered that if you learn enough about something, a lot of the fear goes away, and it's not as scary as it, as it first seems. Having a worm in your skin sounds pretty scary, but it, we discovered it's a bot fly, and they don't reproduce or lay eggs, and they don't crawl around and find themselves in your leg at some point. They stay where they are, and they grow up into a fly, and they leave. So for me, I was almost relieved, because I was like, I know it's not a crazy skin infection, I finally know actually what it is, and it's not actually life-threatening or going to affect me too much, besides just the mental it's anguish of having a worm in your skin. Anyway, I guess PSA is any little red bump you get on your skin when you're traveling is probably a bot fly. No. <laughs> no. It's the closest you're ever going to get to being pregnant. Oh, well, it felt good to raise something, even though we didn't have to. All right, this is Lexi Limitless. She has a blog called Living Lost, also an Instagram called Lexi Limitless. You know me already. If you missed the last video, it's on top. You can subscribe and you can check out my Patreon if you want to see behind the scenes content. Experience our possessions and I'll catch you in the next video. It probably won't be as gross as this one. See ya. Maybe. <laughs>